Hey Rubies, welcome to my channel. Welcome back 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 to my channel. And we gon' talk some shit, bye bye. Ooh, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. And we gon' talk some shit. Nah. What's up, y'all? We're going to get down to the nitty gritty today. We're going to do a little short get ready with me. My regular, simple, everyday look. You know, just my little throw on makeup. You know, no eyeshadow, no brows on. Just, I don't do none of that. I just make sure the face card don't decline, period. But we're going to talk about my first time with a girl. Yes, honey, my first time having hot, steamy relations with another woman such as myself so if that's something you want to get into you want to watch me do my makeup you want to listen to me spill some tea keep on watching i already washed and exfoliated and moisturized my face so i'm currently priming my skin with my elf my elf poreless face primer and I had started telling the story, but then I had just felt like I wanted to give a little brief synopsis to backstory first. Okay, so as far as my sexuality goes, I currently consider myself heteroflexible. I currently consider myself heteroflexible. Um, I used to consider myself bisexual, maybe even pansexual, because I've, you know, I've dated all kinds of people. But as I've gotten older, as I've like learned, you know, what I like and dislike and stuff like that, I would consider myself more so heteroflexible, because like women are out of the question, but I like men. So anywho, I didn't come out as like bisexual or anything like that until after high school naturally because i didn't start actually having sex until i was out of high school so of course i had sex with a guy first um a guy was my first and i had interest in girls like i used to watch lesbian porn and stuff like that and i just wanted to know like what it would be like you know, to be with a woman. So at that point, I'm bi curious, right? Right. So I'm on Twitter one day, and this girl, like, she went with her move on me. Like, I had never had a woman just, like, you know, approach me as boldly as she did. So it caught me off guard, but I was happy about it because. It's like, okay, this this my shot. This my opportunity to really, like, you know, do something. Because, of course, girls have flirted with me before and stuff like that. Like, girls had even offered, like, I don't want to say offer, but, you know, girls was, like, flirting with me. But, I don't know. I just wasn't in a space. I wasn't having sex yet. Like, it just, it wasn't, I wasn't ready, I guess. Like, I was curious, but I wasn't ready. So, she fell in my DMs like, like a nigga. Like, what's up with you? I'm trying to fuck with you. Like, you are beautiful. I'm trying to get to know you. Like, what's up with you? Like, straight up. Like, she was, she didn't play no games, honey. Like, she came with the come with. Period. Mama knew what she wanted, okay? And it was me. It was your girl. So, I'm intrigued by this. Because I'm like, oh, this a bold bitch. So, she and I, you know, we hit it off. We had a lot of things in common. Um, she cool people, like, to this day, like, that's my girl. But, you know, we had a lot of things in common. So, before we had even taken it to a sexual level, we kind of, like, you know, low-key developed a little friendship because we were into a lot of the same things on top of the fact of being attracted to each other. So, we talked and, and you know, texted, hung out a couple times for a few months before things got, like, you know, sexual between us. So, it ended up being Bayou Classic weekend, I want to say, like, 2012. And she and her friend had gotten a room out there. Because she was out there a day before me. Y'all know Bayou Classic be Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Oh, shit. Bayou Classic be Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Her and her homegirl had got a room out there for Friday and Saturday. But homegirl ended up like getting alcohol poisoning and like poor baby you know she had to go home so 
I was still coming out there the next day on that Saturday because I think I had to work Friday. I was still coming out there on Saturday, but it was supposed to originally be me, her, and her friend in the room. So, I didn't have no problem with that, you know. So, boom, friend had to leave. Coincidentally, she was talking to this guy that I was really good friends with at the time. And he rolled down there. Well, I ain't going to say coincidentally, but she was talking to this guy that I was cool with at the time. Not nobody I was dealing with, like platonic friend. And he ended up riding down there with me. So we get to her hotel and everything is cool. You know, we drinking, taking shots, like, you know, pre-gaming before we go outside. Because it's by classic weekend, like, we going outside. So, in the midst of, like, you know, drinking and taking shots and stuff like that, like, she was very, to say, we, well, I was, like, 19. She was, like, 18. So, to say we were so young, I guess, she was way more, like, sexually liberated than I was. So, the fact that she had both of us there at the same time, like, did not bother her, like, at all. If you see where I'm going with this. So... Hold on, y'all. I'm trying to make sure I don't mess up my concealers. So, we drinking. We talking. You know, we all having a good time. We all, like, you know, engaging, clowning, jousting, whatever, whatever. And then, they, the two of them, the boy and the girl. I don't know why I didn't give them names. Let's give them names. We gonna call the boy Nicholas. And we gonna call the girl Charmaine. So, Nicholas and Charmaine, follow me, camera. Nicholas and Charmaine start having sex. Now, I'm minding my grown ass business, you heard me? Because I let people do them. So, I, w I went in the bathroom. I forgot what I was doing, but I wasn't using the bathroom because the door was open. But I was standing in the bathroom for whatever reason. I don't recall the reason, though. Because, like I said, I wasn't using the bathroom because the door was open. I still had all my clothes on. Mind y'all, this was like 10 years ago. So, bear with me. So, I'm in the bathroom, whatever. And then, they like, she come in the bathroom trying to see what I'm doing. And, I'm like, either on my phone. I don't know. Like I said, I don't remember why I was in the bathroom. Probably because they were fucking. Maybe I was trying to get them some privacy. I was on the phone. Who knows, child, but I had to separate myself from the situation. So, she come in there trying to see what the fuck I'm doing. And I'm like, oh, no, y'all are fine. Like, I'm not, you know, everything is fine. You know, everything's fine. I'm just, you know, whatever, whatever. I guess I was, I don't know. Who the fuck knows what I had going on. So, he come in the bathroom behind her and starts having i'm trying not to be vulgar so vulgar because this is youtube he comes behind her and start having sex with her from behind and at that point i'm like sitting on the bathroom counter of the hotel room so i'm sitting on the bathroom counter well like i told y'all mamas was the bold one her knew exactly what she wanted and what she wanted was me so i'm sitting on the counter baby Sister went on ahead and just pulled my clothes down and pulled my drawers to the side and went to town. She started eating my coochie. And I had never had my coochie ate by a girl before and I had never ate another girl coochie. So I'm like, I don't really know what to do here, but I'm going with the flow because apparently this is what, this is what people be doing. <laughs> Apparently, this is how people be having a good time or whatever. So, I'm just going with the flow. I'm like, okay, well, at this point, we this is a threesome. But, like I said, I wouldn't really consider it a threesome because me and him didn't engage in any sexual activity. But, me and her was engaging in sexual activity. And, her and him was engaging in sexual activity. So, it's a threesome. But, it wasn't like, you know, it was me. Like, y'all get what I'm saying. Boom. So I'm like, okay, wow. So, you know, we go from the bathroom to the bedroom to the, you know, it's it's a full-on fuck face at this point. Boom. So, 
Nicholas leaves after that, you know, after that little session or whatever. Because, you know, he going out with his friends. Like, you know, we girls, we going girls and he going with his guys. You know, we can go with his nigga friends. So, at that point, me and Charmaine are in the room together for like the rest of the weekend. Baby, Charmaine introduced me to some things, honey. Like, I had never ate coochie before, but I, I, I ate coochie plenty of times. In that weekend, to say I had never did that before, but we had us a wonderful time in that room, honey. We went outside and enjoyed the Bayou Classic situation, and then we came back inside and enjoyed our own little situation, and, um, you know... We had us a, a, a ravishing, a ravishing good time. Um, that was some fun times. I, I do not regret a thing, actually. But, yeah, my first time with a girl was technically a threesome. And it was, I don't know, does that also count as my first threesome? Because I had never had a threesome before. Not like, well, yeah, I had never had a threesome before. I had people offer threesomes to me before, but I had never, of course, like I said, acted on it because I was so inexperienced. And she was from, like, a small town outside of Baton Rouge. And what I've noticed about, like, people, what I've noticed about people from that town or like small towns, like they be they be very sexual very early. And I'm not saying that to be like, you know, whatever, whatever, but I didn't start having sex until I was 18. Of course, people that, you know, that I grew up with was around and stuff like that, like other people at school and stuff like that was having sex, but it wasn't out of the ordinary for me to not have had sex before, but like where they from, everybody had been fucking each other since like down in middle school. And that was just so foreign to me. I couldn't understand how she was how she was just so boldly to approach me like that. Like I wasn't gay. Like I'm a, I'm I'm bi curious. You know what I'm saying? I didn't even know the first thing about approaching a girl and having having sex with a girl. Like I had no experience with anything like that. So the fact that it came so natural for her was like mind boggling to me. Like girl, how long you been gay? I only been gay for twelve minutes. Like bitch. You really be eating pussy pussy, but like, yes, this to be eating pussy pussy because it was good too. And we fucked down, honey. It was a whole lot of lesbian sex going on in that room. And I don't regret none of it because it was good as fuck. <laughs> the same was my first time with a girl. We had us a really, really, really good time. But yeah, like they was she they were a lot more experienced. Then I was on that side of town, but I'm grateful because I wouldn't have had the balls to, I definitely wouldn't have had the balls to come at me the way she came at me. I wouldn't have had the balls to come at her, you know, the way that she did. So I needed that little push, like, girl, you know, you want to do it. You know, you want to experience it. Like, you know, you want to do it. Like, what you scared? What you scared for? What you scared for? I was scared then. But then I wasn't scared no more. Because I ain't had no fucking choice. I mean, like, I didn't have no choice. Like, sister sister pulled them drawers to the side and said, this is what I want right here, right next. And who are me to deny her fine ass of that? Who are me? Who are me? So that was my first time with a girl. And for a while, I dated women exclusively, not not directly after that, maybe like two, three years after that, I started dating women um, exclusively for about three, maybe, it was about three years that I only dated women. And that was an interesting experience. It's not something that I would ever go back to. Like I said, I'm heteroflexible. I would consider myself heteroflexible. I, women are not out of the question, but the fact of the matter is, like, the older I've gotten, like, I don't know. I don't really, I don't like eating coochie. I don't like eating coochie. Not really my thing. Um, sex with a woman makes me want to have sex with a man. So, it's like, that would just really have to be on, like, some foreplay shit. Or, like, I'm just really, 
feeling some type of way right now. So I need to get it in and, you know, something like that. But in my big old adult age, I have not been having sex with no girls. Because that's just not, I don't know. It's just not something, I don't know. It's just not something that I really, like, kept up, kept on doing, like, I don't know. I think I think I needed to know. Like, of course, she wasn't the only girl that I was with, but I think, you know, I was curious about it. And once I had kind of, like, scratched that itch of being curious about it, it was like, okay, that's what, you know, that's what this is about. It was like, okay, I had sex with a girl. And then I started to get into relationships with girls. And then that changed. Who I ain't gonna lie, that changed my outlook on everything. Because these hoes, terrible y'all. At least these hoes out here, terrible y'all. Oh lord, look at me fucking up. But. My sexuality for me is just very fluid, very much I do what I want, who I want, whenever I want. I don't like labels because, I mean, my friends and people know me already know how I am. Like, girl, I be done dated a man, been with a man, and then, you know, they say, you know, I was in some pussy the other night. So, I, I, I don't know. You know, it, you really never know with me. You really never know. How I be coming, but that's why I try to stay away from the whole label situation because, girl, I don't have time to be trying to label myself because I just do who and what I feel, okay? If I want to be with a girl, then I'm going to go be with a girl. If I want to be with a nigga, then I'm going to go and be with a nigga. Like, I do whatever I see fit, whatever I feel is fit at the time, and that's just me. Ooh, bonus tea. So, this is how I knew I was a little freaky little something, right? I'm only telling y'all this because I'm still doing my makeup. But this is how I knew I was a little freaky little something, okay? And just because I'm calling myself a freaky little something, I do not ever want y'all to think that you could come at me like that or call me that because this is me calling myself that bitch. This is not no invitation for nothing for nobody. Let me make that real clear. We in the room or whatever chilling. And so, I had me a little, a little men friend. A little... I had me a little guy friend who wanted to come pass on me, you know what I'm saying? It's about you classy. We turn up. We lit. Okay? Okay? Okay. So he come pass on me, but you know, it's her room, and it's her room. She ain't gotta go nowhere. So, if you got a problem with her being in here, then you can't come through here. Period. So, he can't pass on me or whatever. Y'all... Y'all, y'all ain't gonna get it, y'all gonna get it. As young, I ain't gonna lie, as young and inexperienced as I was, y'all, why I had sex in front of that girl? Why I did it? Why I had sex with that boy in front of that girl? Girl, I just was, was swallowing at a young age, girl, just 19, just living life, fucking in front of my baby. Baby, I'm good just doing the sex, baby. She, I mean, she had done fucked in front of me. So, I had fucked in front of her. And it was good, too. And, like, she ain't wanna... She ain't wanna fuck with me and him. But I definitely... We definitely went had some really good lesbian sex in the shower after he left. Okay? This was a fun weekend. I might have to call her. We might have to, might have to do this again. I might do this again sometime. Oh, let me stop. That is a married woman, okay? She married her damn self. While I'm sitting up here talking about how I'm not gay no more and I'm delivered and all that. She married her motherfucking self. But, yeah, we had a nasty good time. We had us a nasty good time that weekend, baby. We definitely did. And some fuck shit had ended up happening like the next day, but we ain't gonna get into that. That's another story time for another time. Not nothing between me and her. Like I said, she was great. We were great. Um, but yeah, my first girl on girl experience was in a motherfucking threesome with my homeboy, bitch. What type of shit is that? I don't know, but 
that time of life, 2012 and shit like that, like in, during those time, during those years, like anywhere from like between 2010 and 2014 was like probably the most fun years of my life. I had a good time. I had a lot of firsts. I had a lot of, you know, it was just the formative years. That was like 16. That was like 16 through 21 for me. So, it was lit. It, I had a wonderful time during that time in my life. And I don't regret nothing. I don't regret nothing about it. I don't regret nothing, baby. We had a ball. I know I had me a motherfucking ball. And we had just a nasty good time. And that was that. Period. Now, I did jump up off camera right quick to go ahead and finish the look. I had to go ahead and put my clothes on, put my wig on. I'm back live in the flesh, transformed into the bad bitch that I am, period. So, I really, really hope you all enjoyed my story time about my first time with a girl and my first threesome. And also, a little bonus tea. So, if you made it all the way to the end, baby... You got a little more insight into who I am and how I like to get down. So, consider yourself privileged. I'm just playing. But, I'm so happy that I was able to share that with y'all. I really hope y'all enjoyed it. Again, please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, please leave a comment. Let me know what other kind of story times would you like to see. Um, different topics. I'm going to have a Zodiac video coming soon. Y'all see I got my little Leo chain on. You know, I'm repping for the girls. But I'll have a Zodiac video coming soon for y'all. We're also going to talk about a little mental health and stuff like that. So, I'm listening to y'all. I'm listening to what y'all said and what type of topics y'all wanted me to come with. So, I'm trying to kick it out. I'm trying to push it out there. A bitch work two jobs and be trying to run two businesses. So, bear with me. I'm, I'm here with y'all. I'm here with y'all. Make sure y'all subscribe. Make sure y'all share my shit. Please, 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 please share my shit because... I'm trying to make it to 500 subscribers. Once I go to 500 subscribers, I'm going to do a giveaway. I don't know if I want to give away some money or if I want to give away something. I don't know. I might give away some money because, I mean, who can't who can't use money? Or I might, like, pay somebody a bill. But I don't know. Y'all be letting y'all bills get high, so I don't know. But thank you again. Can't wait to see you all again. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.